In the subject of Dutch and Bern, before any work, there could be a lot of questions about tablet, and we cannot talk about Dutch and Bern, we cannot talk about Dutch and Berning without subject about the tablet and about the mouse. I'm not sure what's your experience with tablet, if you have any, or maybe you don't. If you heard about this and you're still mouse user, you might have few questions why so many people use tablet for retouching work. And if you don't know anything about tablet, if you are quite new, if you were just using mouse all the time, if you thought most of retouching is done with mouse, uh, that's the right time to familiarize yourself with the tablet, what is tablet, and I'm talking about, of course, graphic tablet, and the company that is the most famous about this, and of course, I I recommend you this, because mostly there doesn't exist any option for Wacom tablet, so if you're not familiarize yourself before maybe even we start, Google Wacom tablet, read about this, and see something about this, and what I have to say for retouching mostly we're using small size probably everyone is using small size because there is no point of using bigger tablets and small size tablet gives you really good comfortable work so when we're choosing tablet we're choosing small size because it's comfortable for our retouching so that's the things uh, we had to say i'm using wacom tablet on my own of course they're not expensive the basic version Intus Pen, I think that's the name, costs around $100 and the Pro version is a bit more expensive, I think the price would be around $300 uh, but of course I cannot be sure at the moment, I'm going to check a bit later but what I said, when you just start and if you don't have tablet, just buy Intus Pen and try to get used to about this few things, the difference between tablet and mouse, if you don't know why I use tablet and why most of the people using tablets. First of all, when we use mouse, we don't have pressure sensitivity. So if we paint something, I'm using, of course, pen right now, but I have turned off all the pen pressure. If we use mouse, we're going to get the lines like this. If we use tablet, let me show you the small difference, we have something like pressure sensitivity. I'm going to press stronger, as you can see, I have a lot of control. So that's the second point, it's going to give you a lot of control when you're painting, and why it's giving you a lot of control, because you can have natural hand moves. Mouse, unfortunately, cannot give you this, your moves will be not so natural and quite thick, I could say. So you will have really good natural feeling with a lot of control, the same as you writing something or you painting. The other thing is, of course, your retouching become more quicker because instead as the mouse hitting point by point, with tablet, you just go into paint this very quickly with these all natural moves, of course. I'm making this a bit dirty, but I'm trying to show you a bit more if you don't know anything about this. Of course, we're going to discuss more and more about this and you will have a lot of workflow. Also, we're going to discuss about brushes. What else the tablet is going to give you except then your retouch become much quicker, more natural and the fluently of your work will be just really good. Also, it's way easier for any kind of selection and for retouching the skin. It's not only for the brush, but also for healing brush, for stamp tool. Your hand is way quicker and that's what tablet is going to give you. So if you didn't know anything about this, you have some of the basic information and that's everything you need to know at this point. The main thing is pressure, sensitivity, and the natural feeling. I would say these two things is enough. Mouse, 
will not give you the same results or maybe you could try to get the same results. However, the job that's going to be done in one within one hour using tablets, it's going to take much, much longer using the mouse.